Hey guys, it's Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So before we get into the bulk of everything, um, first, uh, make sure to like this video um, if you end up enjoying it. Make sure to comment down below. Make sure to subscribe for more of A, A plus, A plus content. And also make sure to turn on that bell to know when I post. Spoiler alert. I post every Thursday, so there you go. And also make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my beauty one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, and then also my regular personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore. Okay, now that we got that all out of the way, I'm going to start off this video by saying I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be a doctor. I'm not going to act like I know everything. This is just my personal experience that I want to share because I get questions about it and I just like to inform, you know, inform about some uteruses or my, my uterus. I don't know what y'all is doing, but I'll tell you about mine. Um, so yeah, this is a uterus, uterus only video. So I'm sorry people with no uteruses, you might want to scurry along because it's gonna get it's gonna get crazy so yeah I'm just making this video to talk about my experience um, I know when I was going to get my IUD I was watching a million YouTube videos about it some people would scare others by saying how terrible it was some people would say oh it's not bad at all my experience might not match yours if you're going to get yours soon so but I could tell you about how mine went so let, let's let's just get into it, right? Right uterus having people. So there's different kinds. There's the Paragard, copper one, whatever you want to call it. And that one is in you for 10 to 12 years. Um, and I think it just releases copper ions and kills the sperm cells. I don't really know how that one works as much, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Those ones are fucking metal. Oh, metal, because they're copper. And then there's uh, Morena, Loletta, Kylina, and Skyla. So yeah, Loletta and Kylina look like the same. Excuse me, I'm getting emails. I took notes on my phone because I know that I can't keep my mind in one place for too long. So Morena is for five to seven days. I heard it's bigger and I heard they recommend it to women who are pregnant before, but that's what my guy now has told me. And then there's Loletta, Kylina, and Skyla, which are the little small ones. Um, I prefer them because I've just heard my people around me have had really bad experiences with the copper ones um and also since they don't have any hormones in them you can just like I've heard people bleeding for like three months straight and I was like I don't want that so Loletta is three to five years Kylina which is what I have is for five years and Skyla is for three years I got the one that lasts five years I've this March I would have had it for two years now so pretty much what the hormonal ones do I'm pretty sure it thickens the mucus around your um uterus to make it so sperm doesn't want to hang out there just pretty much like a shitty place for sperm to be at they don't want to be there they said see you girl I don't know a lot about the whole fucking I just wanted to pretend like I knew stuff and clearly I don't but I do know how my experience went so let's just get into that and I'll shut the fuck up about all this shit so why did I get it um well I have a couple of reasons I have um very bad anxiety and I'm in a relationship and that gives me a million pregnancy scares all the time no matter how safe I was being um, I was on the pill for years and I just was having pregnancy scare over like just so many just so many pregnancy scares and I was sick of it and I did not want to fucking deal with it anymore because this is like besides getting your tubes tied the most effective form of birth control and it doesn't have a lot of future complications because um, I know like people in my family like my aunts and stuff were on the pill and then they were getting blood clots just really bad stuff so I know the pill can like kind of screw you up if you're on it for way too long so that's um, why I was on it when I was on the pill I got extremely underweight I'll see if I can like put in pictures um, I got very underweight I was having migraines every day the pros were um, I wasn't breaking out at all like, I had no zits whatsoever. It just, like, sucked the fucking life out of me. And I know that's the opposite for some people. Some people gain a lot of weight. They have crazy food cravings. I was just, like, Skeletor on crack. And it was just really hard. And then on top of that, um, I also miscarried when I was on the pill. I didn't know I was pregnant, but I knew when I was having a miscarriage. You could definitely tell the difference between a miscarriage and a period. And, um... 
that's about as much as I'll go into that because that was a very hard thing for me to go through. And I was always thinking about getting an IUD and then after I had a miscarriage, I said, yes sir, I'm getting an IUD because I don't want to go through that ever again. Um, and also, I'm bad at timing with taking pills. Um, I know you have to take the pill at a very exact time and I'm terrible at it. That's why I got it. Great, let's move on. So what did I do before I got it and when I decided to get it? Well, you had to pick one. And like I said, I already told you why I picked Kylina. I liked that it was in for five years. I liked the size of it. I liked that it was a hormonal one. I was like, yeah. And also all my homies got it. So like, you know. Me and the girls walking around with our Kylinas. Um, and yeah, anyway, so that's what I picked. Um, my insurance covered it, thank God. I know some insurances for religious reasons or other reasons, I don't know. I know a lot of them don't, not a lot of them, some of them don't cover IUDs because some of them think it's abortion. So that's as far as I know about that. So check you with your insurance because I'm pretty sure it's pricey if they don't cover it. So let's, what, what, when did I go in to get it? So they tell me I, I had to wait until my period. And I was like, oh, well, I think my period will be this day. And then they were like, nah, just call us on the first day of your period and we'll get you in. And I was like, that's scary because now I'm just going to be sitting around waiting for my period and I'm going to be shitting my pants and it probably won't come because I'm so scared. I was, like I said, I have anxiety, like, very bad. So I was freaking the fuck out. Um, I was waiting for a period. It was, of course, very late because I was very nervous. I was, like, waiting for it to come. And then I remember when it did, I it was, like, after dinner one night. And then whew, I was, like, kind of like, oh, wow, like, now I can get it. But then at the same time, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking die. So the next morning, I called, and then they were like, okay, tomorrow morning, come in. We'll put it in. And I said, oh, fuck. Um, the reason why you have to put it in, or why they recommend you put it in, my doctor makes it so you have to get it when you're on your period. Some doctors would just recommend it. I think it makes the pain a lot less because your cervix is a little more dilated on your period. Um, I know for me personally, me getting the IUD inserted wasn't the most painful part, and we'll get to that in a second. I guess I'm glad I went on my period. I was watching a lot of videos. I watched an actual, like, um, video that they would make, like, med students watch of how they put it in, which was just a fucking mistake. I was just making so many mistakes before I got it. Do not watch those. If you already did, I'm sorry because you're just gonna like imagine that happening to you when you're sitting in that chair and it's gonna make you freak out a lot more. And I saw in one of these videos, they were like, in some cases, the cervix would need to be straightened out. So they'll take this little clamp and pull it straight. And I said, oh, that looks painful, but I won't be some cases. Yeah, I watched a lot of videos, panicked, got on my period panic some more. Yeah, that was it. That's pretty much how I prepared. Um, there was really not much you can do. So now, like, the day of when I went to go get it, um, I tried to sleep a lot. I remember I did have a nightmare. Like I said, I have, like, anxiety and, like, PTSD. I just have a lot of shit, dude. Like, I have a lot of, like, anxiety problems. So, like, yeah, nightmares, so bad. <laughs> like, um, I had nightmares the day before I got my nipples pierced, too. I'm a fucking wreck, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I tried to eat, um, and then I couldn't eat. So I think, like, I ate a cracker. I'm, um, like, being honest. Like, I couldn't eat. But I had to eat because I didn't take painkillers because I was like, oh, I really don't think it would help. If I took ibuprofen, I just, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see it helping. So, I took um, my prescribed Xanax. It's prescribed YouTube, please. I'm not telling anyone to go get Xanax and it barely even worked anyways. So don't even try doing this. So I took some of my Xanax and it helped like bef like a little bit before. I don't know. I was probably like way too far past being so nervous that it was just like whatever. So I took that. I ate a cracker to get the get the Xanax down. And then, um, yeah, we went in. I had to sit in the waiting room for way too long, but at this time the Xanax was kicking in, so I was just, like, chilling, like... Hmm, okay. And then I walked into the room. I brought my mom with me because um, she's a G. I did not want to do that by myself. That was not happening. They just had it all laying out on this table. You know, they brought me into this big room with the little, the little seat and the stirrups. And then there was a countertop where they just had everything laid out. Looked over and I saw my IUD a lot smaller than I imagined. It was about the size of a quarter. And I said, oh shit, 
that's gonna be in me for the next five years. So I might as well get close to it, you know? So I was like, what's up girl, how you doing? They did that thing where they're like, okay, get undressed. And at this point I'm like high key panicking, but then my mom was trying to joke with me and we were on that like crazy Slovak woman shit, you know? Um, my gyno was actually delivering a baby at this time. It was uh, the nurse practitioner, but she was pretty cool, I guess. They first had to like, you know, open you up. Every, every girl knows about that shit is whatever and then she looks at my cervix and she says oh girl I gotta straighten this out and then I was like oh oh hell no nah. because like I was like this shit is gonna fucking hurt I saw this in the video and here's the thing that I was telling you not to watch those videos because like at that time I probably would have not known what was happening I would have just been like okay they have to straighten my cervix whatever but I knew what that fucking meant like they had to like align it so it was more of like a straightaway like I said they get these two little like pricky things and pull it and I was like oh, oh fuck uh they went and did it and I was expecting it to hurt so um to say the least I started freaking out pretty damn bad uh, my mom was standing behind me and she had her arm around me like this and I had a hoodie on and I had it in my mouth and I'm just like freaking out and then I, um, like I said, the Xanax didn't work, so by the way, just don't ever, it, it won't work. I'm, like, completely losing it, and then I just kind of, like, second nature said stop, because, um, feeling something grabbing onto your cervix, like, that does not feel nice at all. So, I said stop, and then this bitch was over here, like, well, if you say stop, I legally have to stop until you say I can start again. I just want to get this over with. I was like, yeah, obviously I want you to go. Just, like, put it in and get it wrapped up. And then, in the whole 30 seconds, I was freaking out. I think she put it in, because there was just one point where it felt like I had, like, a little bit of period cramps. And then she was like, we're done. And then my dramatic ass cried tears of joy. And I said, wow. Finally got it put in. It, honestly, yeah, the putting, the putting it in didn't really bother me, but I've also had a long, 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 long line of terrible period cramps. Like, I used to have to stay home from high school. They, they would get really bad. So I kind of know how bad period cramps can really get, so it felt like, I don't know, like maybe a bad one for someone who doesn't get cramps, but a mild one for, like, someone like me who gets terrible cramps. So, I don't know. It was just when they had to, like, you know, kind of, like, stick stuff in there and, like, straighten me out and then do this and that. I was like, yo, like, there's, like, five tools inside my hoo-ha right now. After the fact, I was very afraid to move. I had, like, this weird, like, just, like, feeling of, like, a foreign object inside me and it would kind of make me feel sick. But then I was, like, moving around and it was fine. It just kind of felt like, well, I was also on my period at the same time and I get bad cramps. So, I was just kind of, like, I couldn't really tell. I only had cramps for about a week. Yeah. It, I didn't even notice it. You have to wait some time before you have sex, whatever. Um, speaking of which, I was terrified to have sex. I know, like, they, it, there's no way a fucking penis can, like, knock that shit out of whack. But in my head, it just wasn't, like, computing. So, like, I was freaking out. I was very, very nervous. So, but eventually, uh, you, you honestly, I forget that it's there half the time. It, it doesn't bother me. She just kind of sits there, like... And I'm like, thanks, girl, for not giving me any babies. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I guess we can go a little bit into the pros and cons. Just kind of like the final overview. That was my whole situation. I didn't really need to sit there. They made me sit. They made me sit in the little stirrup chair thing for like a couple of minutes. But like, I was sitting there for five minutes just like chilling on my phone and I'm fine. And then they were like, you want us to bring you crackers or juice? And I'm like, no, like I kind of want to go home. Me and my mom went to Wendy's. I went home, sat my ass in bed and watch let's plays all day it was really nice pros and cons that i'll get into the pros yeah i've never had a um pregnancy scare at all like uh, that's a lie i'll get them sometimes but that's just because i'm stupid and i'm like what if i'm that 0.01 percent that it doesn't work for yeah there was one time i had to take amoxicillin for an ear infection and then i read somewhere that amoxicillin fucks with um birth control and i was like oh, oh fuck, fuck i'm pregnant. pregnant and then i also had to take vicodin that same week for something, I think I had really bad tattoo pain, so I just took it like a dumbass. So then Vicodin, as a lot of you guys may know, can make you extremely nauseous. So I was on amoxicillin, and I was already worried that it was going to fuck with my birth control, and then I was extremely nauseous from Vicodin, so I was like, oh yeah, 
And then we can go into cons. I guess the first thing I'm gonna put out there, just because I want people to know, and I feel like maybe in other YouTube videos they'd be too embarrassed to say it, but I mean, I don't give a fuck, so I'm gonna say it. The only time my IUD will really hurt is if I get, like, constipated or if I have to, uh... If I have to drop the kids off at the pool, you know what I'm saying? That's the only time that it will hurt, and I think it's just because it, like, presses against it. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna be real with you. Like... Sometimes that shit will be hurting if I also have to go. Like, you, can, it'll give me, like, lower back pain. That's the best way to describe it. And it's, like, kind of like, ooh. And then you're like, oh, shit, what the fuck was that? And it'll, like, keep happening. And then, um, usually for me, it'll go away once I poop. So, um, yeah. The other con is my period cramps personally came back. I know some people said your period -y, period, -y, period can stop when you have the IUD put in, like after a couple of months, you just won't get a period anymore. I haven't gotten that. I did get my period cramps back. That was another good thing about the pill is like I said, my cramps were so bad that I would have to stay home from school. I would be passing out. I would have to get Vicodin. It was fucking terrible. Like it was so bad. And that's why I got put on the pill and I was on it for so many years because like I just couldn't function for a couple of days out of every month. Now I do get them back. I don't think they're as bad because I'm not passing out and stuff but I definitely will have to like lay in bed just usually for the first or second day of my period usually the first and I'll just be like holy fuck and then if I take like four ibuprofen I'll be fine but that's just like I guess a con I kind of forgot what it was like to have period cramps and then I got them back and I said oh this shit sucks bro but it's worth it and you know to wrap it all up even though I went through that experience and I was freaking out it was honestly so damn quick and the actual insertion wasn't bad. And if they do have to straighten out your cervix, I mean, just let it happen, man. It's gonna be done so quick. That's the best, like, advice. Like, I'm going to get another one put in. When I get this taken out and when I'm 24, I'm going to get another one put in. Cause, like, I actually do plan on, like, maybe thinking of having kids when I'm, like, 29, maybe 30. I don't wanna have any kids in my 20s. Anyways, I am gonna get another one put in. So even though I had this experience, just know that I'm willing to go through it again because it is extremely worth it for especially people with anxiety. Like dealing with pregnancy scares is like a lot and it just like won't stop. And then like you get your period pushed back because you're so stressed all the time. That's about it guys. I think I gave kind of like my whole like spiel. I gave as much info as I could. Um, I really recommend it. Definitely think about it. It's definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made. It's made my sex life a lot more, I guess, like, enjoyable because I'm not worried all the time because I'm just a worry wart. Yeah, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of out-of-the-ordinary video because I do want to focus on, like, makeup and beauty and self-care, tattoos and piercings, but I get asked about it all the time and I was like, I'll talk about it if I can. But yeah, I'm gonna have to sign the fuck off and I will see you guys next Thursday with another video. Alright, bye guys.